afraid love ya Even though the skies are grey above ya Hey there Yorkshire Greetings gamers, welcome back everyone to Access Euphoria and another episode of what used to be the beta save but is now just the Legionited starter series I guess uh, with FM21, the full game is out and I'm actually using the full game for today's episode. Now then, form has been up and down since we last met and it was a little bit that that in the last episode but let's dive in, have a look at it and see how we're doing. So as I just mentioned, it's not exactly ideal, but we're not doing awfully at the same time. And it's just one of those things. You're going to have bad spells, injuries, things like that have not helped us whatsoever. We obviously had the disappointing games of Norwich and Real Madrid. Fought over 2-2 draw against Brighton. Kind of a meh game. A decent 3-0 against Bristol City. Obviously, they are in the championship, so we should be winning that game. A 2-2 against Forest. Again, not the best there. They did get like a really, really late equaliser against us, which was a little bit frustrating. A 3-2 against West Ham. And then 3-2 defeat in the FA Cup against West Brom. Championship West Brom that got relegated last year. Still a decent side, but yeah, not ideal to lose to them. And then 2-0 in the Carabao Cup semi-final. So back-to-back -back losses in the Cup sends us out of that although actually i've just realized it's semi-final so there's two legs how i miss that i don't know but anyway well we're two nil down in that first leg anyway so <laughs> it's gonna be a bit of an uphill battle and we've got double chelsea arsenal liverpool oh yeah lovely stuff there as you can see though we do have Basketshire in the knockouts for the champions league we will be doing that in the next episode but today we're focused on league matters trying hopefully bounce back into some good form here against Villa and Burnley. So, without further ado, just so you can have a look at the competitions and see how things are looking, we are currently sitting like that. Let's see how it is at the end of the episode. Tactical meeting, team selection. This is the lineup then. So we've got Rodrigo, Rafina, and Harrison with Barkley, a brand new summer acquisition, brought him in on loan because we're just struggling at centre midfield. A lot of injuries, a lot of things going on. Um, we are missing Shackleton and Big D. Costa's injured, Creswell injured, he's played a couple of games, and uh, Stuart just coming back to fitness. So, a few bits there. We're also just getting back to fitness with Oxford Chamberlain, who's sort of straight back in the squad. Mario, not been playing the best, so I am sort of chucking Barkley for his debut in today. So, we got Phillips, Dallas, Cooper, Ayer, Dumfries, and Meslier as well then. So, let's get into it, guys, and hopefully bounce back with a victory today. And try and go on a nice little mid season run, you know, mid to late season run here, get into a good position in the league so we can then focus again on the Champions League. Um, yeah, I expect to see much better performance because we've not had a good couple of games, so we'll go with that one and let's get out there, boys. Come on. Now, hopefully you are enjoying FM21, the main full game obviously out now. We will be starting the brand new series, the journey series, after this one finishes, so... Uh, well, I say it finishes, it may continue as like a second series or a stream. That will be down to you guys. As I mentioned in the last episode, as Watkins through Watkins scores. Pff, really good hit for him. That puts Villa 1-0 up. We're not playing brilliantly, guys. We're not playing brilliantly. It does seem like a switch has been turned and just not quite as good as it used to be. Although I'm annoyed to see this is still a thing in FM, even though we've had the full release. That's really annoying that that's not been fixed. Rodrigo, Harrison, good bit of play. Dumfries, come on, boys. Trying to see if that's his... Yes, his first lead goal. I was thinking, I don't think he scored yet. First goal, I mean, obviously, because I can't look at this thing. First goal for Dumfries there. Nice little bit of move here. Look at that. Passing and going, pass and go, pass and go. And Dumfries with the overlap makes it one all. We're back in it, and only six minutes have been played. So, <laughs> all action first half as things stand. They're playing a very similar formation to us. Martinez will kick it out. Plays it long. Can we uh, defend this, perhaps? Try and get a counter. Ooh, Watkins has got through again. Watkins dinks the keeper, makes it 2-1. And Watkins only scored, like, four goals for today's game. Has dropped two in the space of 18 minutes. And absolutely ripping us apart here, which is not good. Going to go for a demand more. I don't know if the tactic has just been like become useless under the full game or something like that. I mean, 
towards the end of the beta maybe as well, or if it's other factors, and there will be other factors at play as well. But hopefully we can still get some decent results here. As Rafina goes through, defended Rodrigo on the follow-up. Come on, boys. Makes it 2-2. We level again. It's been one of those games so far. It's sure been one of those games, but let's see what happens as we keep going. Because it looks like there might be a few goals in this game as things are going. They are doing all right, but I'd say, yeah, we're definitely edging in terms of chances there. Bit extra on the possession. So hopefully we'll just have a couple of shaky moments and we can bounce back and, and go and win this game. That's kind of what I want now. Because they give the fans performance. Let's go with that. See what we can do here, boys. Come on. Rafina with a corner. Can we get it from set piece? Watkins. That man Watkins is just in the way. McGinn coming forwards. They've got a few men in this attack, and that's not what you want to do here. We do have men flooding back, but too late as McGinn makes it 3 2. And yet again, Villa take lead. First goal of the season, of course. You know, naturally. Naturally is the first goal of the season. There is an instant highlight from the kickoff, though, into Barkley. Harrison. Into Dumfries, takes a touch, tackled frustratingly, but Aya will pick it back up. Goes long, and again, just not the best there, a bit too rushed, even though the, the down to passing it out and all that kind of jazz is so now and again, sometimes it's good to do it, but other times you just fit frustrated when it's like, oh, run the ball back, and then it's just ump it long, and we get countered like this as Cedric coming forwards here. Need to defend this better than we have done the last couple of goals, McGinn, oh, Sigurdsson, good save for Messier, but we're inviting them on and just not playing that well, I would say. Clearance made, but nobody up there. Hmm, 55 minutes gone. Looking at performances, Harrison just seems to have completely died. Like, he was, at the start of the season, all the players were just amazing, especially that front three, like Harrison, Rafinha, Rodrigo, but... You just, I just can't get a game out of them now. They just don't seem to want to perform. No matter what I do, I've tried swapping them around a little bit. Just can't get any sort of performance out of them, which is ridiculously annoying, to say the least. Try and do a fire them up, see if we can get something going. It's like 12 minutes, but I think you can sense the frustration here. Just, just don't seem to be the same team anymore. And maybe it's that kind of second season syndrome. Oxley Chamberlain with the equaliser because again we are still massively overperforming. Massively overperforming with this kind of squad and, and things like that. So maybe it's just kind of catching up with us. You know, especially having a few injuries, things like that. You know, we'll lose Big D at the back. That's a tough one. We've kind of had a constant injury issue. Maybe that's a thing, but I don't know. We'll have to see how things go. Last few minutes. There is a highlight. If we could win this to the depth, I would go nuts. Rafina, come on. Put in a good delivery. I oh, defended. But come on, we've got the follow up. Phillips. Chamberlain to Rafina in space. Rafina always oh, saved it. Oh, he's offside, I think, anyway. Oh, close, boys, but I think that's going to be full time. It is indeed. It's a 3 0 draw, which, to be honest, I'll take given how that game was going. Brownness, yeah. Not good enough. Need to be doing better. Let's see if we can do it in the next game against Burnley, though. I mean, Rodrigo's injured three to five days. That's not ideal. I think maybe it's just the constant injuries is definitely not helping us. The fact the players are needing rest because in some key areas, due to injuries, some players have just literally played every game. And I think other bits is just form. I mean, Harrison, like I said, has gone off form. I've had chats with him, but, you know, I need the kind of the best players, so there's not much I can really do about it. But, you know, I've had chats with a few of the guys to try and put their ideas up. The midfield especially just doesn't seem to get good range, which I've mentioned before, it's not always the end of the world because they do contribute, but it seems to be now getting to a point where they're just getting really poor range and not really doing a lot, not seeing much out of them, so it's kind of just like a dead area and kind of want a little bit more out of that. So, hmm, we'll have to see how things go, but we're going to the next game. So, boys, we go again, and here we are against Burnley then. So, let's see how we do now. In terms of Burnley, which I seem to have played quite a lot, I am actually managing them in the FM Premier League, and I will be putting those episodes up on YouTube. So go check that out. It's going to be fun. I I say I would have loved to have drawn some better, like Leeds or Man City or Chelsea or whatever, and had a chance to win in it. Definitely not going to be doing that with Burnley, but we'll try something out. 
we'll see how we go. I think it's going to be a bit of fun. I'm just doing the transfers at the minute. We can get five transfers. We're kind of all battling it out. There's there's a few other people from YouTube they might recognise and, and things like that. So do come along, check it out. It'd be awesome to get some support on the uh, those content when they come out. Probably going to be starting in a couple of weeks, I imagine, because it's all going to be an FM touch. So that doesn't get released till the 1st of December. But I imagine we'll do one pretty quick after that. My first game is against Old Man Sudar. Uh, who I've met, and he's got Man United, so that's going to be very much a massive uphill battle with my little Burnley team, but we'll see what we do. Anyway, back to this one. Let's see if we can beat Burnley. Made a couple of changes, but nothing too much. Mario coming in. Um, I've also got Greenwood staying because Rodrigo picked up that injury, but he can be on the bench, and that's pretty much it. So let's go in the game then. Expect a win is what I'm going with, because let's just do it now. We need a win. We need to bounce back. We need to get on a new run of form. I mean, we were when we had our first defeat, we were like 16 games unbeaten or something. We need that again. We definitely need that again. Come on, boys. Let's make it happen. Harrison, can we get another goal? That would be awesome if we can. Sort of dilly-dallying down that line, but couldn't quite make his way in as Cooper with a nice big header. Finds Cork to Taylor. Ooh, through to McNeil. Good save from Meslier there, but... Opening us up already is not ideal. <laughs> it's not ideal. Hmm. I am I am worried that we might have to change tactic or something or have a little tweak. Ooh, we've picked up an injury. Cooper, not ideal. We don't have a lot of options in central defence at the minute. Hopefully that's not a big injury, but knowing our luck, it will be. We've already lost D for like a big D for like six week, more weeks. So that's a huge loss. And if we lost Cooper as well... We're very much struggling at the back then as Jones is just wriggling through everybody. Takes a shot, Meslier saves, but so far, again, we don't seem to start and start very brightly here. So I'm going to go for an instant fire up, although Greenwood is chasing down on goal, straight into Pope's hands up. Quite a tame effort in the end. Hmm. I am getting worried. I'm a little bit worried, but I mean, it's still early in the game. It's still early in the game. They have got a free kick, though. Jones will take it. Meslier kind of palms it wide. They've got a corner, though, and Burnley are known for being difficult from set pieces, shall we say, as McNeil puts it in, Cork heads over, goal kick. Oh, come on, boys. Come on, Leeds. Show us something else. Show us something else. The fans are watching at home. That's you, by the way. Hmm. Man United winning quite comfortably. It keeps going up and up and up. Oh, it just feels like we haven't, like, had a good performance in a while, which is frustrating. I mean, that that from Harrison just gives it away, and McNeil is through, probably will score, Meslier says, but that from Harrison was just dreadful. I might have to do, like, the full team meeting thing and say, basically, we're playing, like, dog poo now. I think the only thing is, we would have to not win this game for that to work, because I found if you do it, even if you had, like, any winning last sort of five games, they moan like little beaches. That we're not actually playing that badly, I think, even though they are. So, and also, we're probably only still, I think, predicted and targeted to get like mid table or something. So, or top half, they might moan that we're all the second. What more do you want? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to say I'm not happy with that. Send them back out there. We're going to go very attacking. I've just, yeah, we're just going for it. <laughs> Encourage, very attacking. Yep, yeah, let's just throw everything at this. It's Burnley. We should be winning this game. We should be winning this game. So we're going to go for it and see what we can do here. Not a lot is happening, which is worrying me. Uh, Sam Greenwood having a poor game. Rafinha having a shocking game. So is Harrison. Oh, God. We'll bring Costa on. We'll rest Oxford Chamberlain because he's just come back from an injury. Couple of changes. Let's see if that can just spice up the play a little bit. We've got a throw in from Dallas. Throws it in. Barkley straight over the bar though. Tough opportunity, but would have liked a little bit more there. Chances. They're probably edging it, to be honest, and chances. If you look at that, they had seven to our six, was it? But that's a good steal for Mario. He can put Costa through. Costa, come on. Be the saviour. We just don't seem to be able to score either. So we can't defend, we can't score, it ain't going well. I'm getting really depressed. <laughs> Come on, Mario. Give me something to cheer. Dumfries whips it in. Oh, Tarkovsky clears, Jones clears, McNeil with the ball there. 
Gojak, I think that'll be. Interesting name. Not heard of him. There's a few players in this team that I've not really heard of or come across. Mario pings it, but pings it to no one, which is... <laughs> oh, dear. Well, I've not seen that in a while. Um, oh, and Greenwood scored, but I think it's offside. Well, we've had to rely on them scoring an own goal, which is... Not good. Not good, um, to be honest. I'm going to make a change. Going to bring off Dumfries for Alien just because we've got him. Although I can't. Oh, yeah, we already had the Cooper. Forgot about Coops. Forgot the fact we took him off. But I'm going to say I'm very attacking. We just got to try and go for this. I, w I want to try and get a couple of goals if we can and just get a little bit of confidence in this team. Because we just seem to be dying to death at the minute and struggling badly. Which, I don't know. Maybe all the games as well. Oh, my God. How many attempts do you want? It's hit the post. Follow what gets blocked. There was, I can't remember which game it was, but there was a game like that where we just hit the post about, they were having, like, ridiculous clearances all the time. It was just insane, and I kind of felt like, oh, yeah, that kind of sums up our luck, really. We just, none of them were going in, whereas probably, like, a couple of months ago, they'd all been going in, and we'd been, like, 4 or 5 nil up. Mesley, a big punt up forward, cleared, but Dallas will collect. Goes to Harrison, who kind of dumbers his man nicely. Cuts it in. There's Costa. There's Barkley. Mario Costa on the rebound. I don't know why Mario, it was like nearly um, penalty spot. Didn't just shoot when he got that ball. He kind of laid it to Costa. We'll see. Was it Mario? Yeah, Costa, Barkley. No, Barkley here. Just shoot. I don't know why Barkley didn't shoot that, but I don't care because we've got the goal. <laughs> We're 2-0 up against Burnley. Maybe this is going to be a turning point for us and we can go on another charge in the league now. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to count my chickens too early because it's not been a great performance. But we, we know we've kind of come through it and got the win, which is the end is the end result. It's what we need as Mario coming forward here. Tries to find Harrison, but good bit of defending there. And they do get cleared. Wood is through and dinks it past our keeper. Don't think it's going to be offside or anything, although I don't know. Hmm... Not ideal. 2-1. I mean... Hands in pockets. Oh, I, I, we've got to say that. I, I kind of want to say, meh. But we've got to say that. I think... Do I still do the team mean? I really don't know. Cooper's out for three weeks. We're really struggling with defenders now. It's going to be Creswell that has to play. The youngster. But look at that. It's, there's not really anyone playing that well in the team right now. And that's not good. Don't know where it's all gone. Don't know what's happened, guys. But yeah, we just seem to be stuttering quite a bit at the minute. We'll have to see what happens in the next few games. I mean, I don't know. But we've got a few couple of decent opportunities here to hopefully get on a bit of a run before we have what is going to be kind of a nightmare run here. We've got double Chelsea, we've got Arsenal, Liverpool, and then we've got Champions League. So... It just doesn't seem to stop at the minute. It's kind of constant pressure, lots of games every few days, as you can see. I mean, that's kind of what December, January is like, but I don't think that's helped with the fact that we've had injuries and, and stuff like that. But guys, that is that one. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Sort of sensing my frustration here. We have got at least a draw and a win out of it. It's better than two defeats we had last time. We keep matching on, guys. I'll see you soon.